Ken, good morning. How are we doing? Hi, good morning. Before I completely uh, butcher your last name, how do you pronounce it? It's Quapis. That's what I thought. Okay, I just didn't want to say Quapis and then have you be like, that's it, I am done with this interview. How unprofessional. <laughs> no, it's Quapis. Okay. So... The Polish name. Uh, well, dzień dobry, jak się <laughs> So, Ken... Okay, I have been on stage and in front of the camera since I was 11 years old, and the old adage, but what I really want to do is direct, uh, has been thrown around a lot, uh, sometimes as a joke, sometimes being serious. So your book, But What I Really Want to Do is Direct, how did you come across act or, uh, directing as your chosen creative medium? Well, I, I grew up in a small town in southern Illinois, I didn't know any show business people. I didn't know anybody in film or television. But I was a, you know, I was a moviegoer, and I pretty quickly sensed, you know, as a as a youngster, that there was someone behind the scenes making choices that would either make a story good or less good or great. And I thought, oh, I got it. That's what I I want to be. That person. I want to be the person pulling the strings. And uh, so I I sort of developed a passion and an interest in directing very early. I didn't do it, but I, I love the idea of doing it. Okay. Joining us, Ken Quapis. The book is But What I Really Want to Do is Direct, and you might not know the name, but you definitely know his work, and he has worked with some of the best in the business, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Aniston, Bradley Cooper, Scarlett Johansson, Drew Barrymore, if you've ever heard of those hacks, uh, Kevin Bacon, Brian Cranston. You've been on a lot of great shows. You've been a part of a lot of really great casting. You decided a I long time ago... I feel... Go ahead. Oh, no, no. I, well, I was just going to say, one of the things I feel very fortunate about is that over the years I've been able to go back and forth between the big screen and the small screen. And I've done 11 features, directed 11 features. I've helped launch nine different series. But, you know, I, I, I would say that not, you know, I'll, I'll be very specific. Some of the films I directed uh, when they first came out weren't, were not super popular, but have since become very beloved by audiences. So I feel like the other thing I've done is you know, I've, I've directed things that people really have taken to heart. Well, I think specifically what we're uh, alluding to is something that didn't do crazy well in theaters, but the cult following behind it, the fact that they celebrate it every year, of course, I'm talking about Sesame Street Presents Follow That Bird, um, just the show of support. I'm totally kidding. I don't know if there's a cult following for Follow That Bird, but there should no, be. No, no, actually. Well, I don't know about cult. No, but that's absolutely the case. The film did, the film came out in 1985. I'll be, I, you know, I'll just to set the scene, it came out, I think, the week after you know, Rambo came out. So I was, you know, big, it was Big Bird versus Rambo that weekend at the, at the at theaters, and it did, you know, it, it, it did okay. It did very, you know, very modestly, but it has had a very important afterlife. And I cannot tell you how many people I run into who tell me that they not only enjoyed it, but that it actually had a deep effect on them. So that that's a perfect example. Ken Quap is changing I lives. I got my first feature. Look also, at that say again. I said Ken Quap is changing lives. <laughs> well. I, that's not, that, that wasn't the intention, but I'm glad that a few lives were changed. So, uh, director Ken Quap is joining me. The book is out right now. It is, but what I really want to do is direct. Now, you have very specifically said that you want to work on your own terms, that you don't really necessarily like the way that business is normally done as far as Hollywood is concerned. How did you make that decision, or was that always sort of the way that you approached projects? No, in fact, I would say, you know, if I could meet my younger self, if I could meet my, like, 24-year-old self, I would, the advice I'd give was just figure out a way to measure success on your own terms in show business because, and, and not let the business define you. And that's actually a major theme in the book. I mean, I didn't set out to write a self-help book, but there is a lot of that in the book. And, and specifically, you know, for me, you know, you can't control the outcome of, of things you can't control whether people people buy a ticket to see your movie or tune in to see your show or you can't control the critics but all you can really control is the process of of making the thing itself and and so the book is not only about the craft of directing for instance you know how to talk to an actor 
where to put the camera. But it's also about basically how to you know keep how to keep focused on the process itself and not get hung up on the outcome. So that's what that's what that's what I mean. Director Ken Kwap is just a few more minutes with him. Um, you've done a lot of television, like, oh, I don't know, The Office, Malcolm in the Middle, a couple of shows that uh, really tried to get their legs but couldn't. Um, is there a genre that you have yet to actually dip your directorial foot into, uh, whether it's sci-fi or uh, film noir? Is there something, a project out there that you're just waiting to sink your teeth into? I am dying to direct a musical. I'll, I'll leave it at that. I, I, I would love nothing more than to direct a musical. I mean, I feel like I've been able to, you know, work in a lot of different genres. Obviously, a lot of what I've done is, you know, comedic material. But I feel like, you know, it, 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 I feel like this heard of the Traveling Pants, you know, kind of a, a wonderful young adult novel, mm -hmm. the, the movie Big Miracle, a rescue adventure. Um, the, my latest film, uh, the, the most current film I directed, came out a few years ago, A Walk in the Woods with Robert Redford and Nick Nolte, a, you know, based on a, a memoir, uh, Bill Bryson's memoir. So I feel like I've been able to move, you know, from you know, through a few genres, but the one I'm dying to do is a musical. Okay, so who do you love as far as uh, musical composers? Are, are you a Sondheim fan, or are you um, going classics? Oh no! I well, I have a pretty, I I have I have a wide range of musical tastes, and but certainly Sondheim is way up there. There's no question, and uh, I, I I I I would count myself as a sound Sondheim super fan. Well, I would say best of luck going forward, but you don't need that at all. You've had an incredible career, and you've got plenty of years ahead of you to do even more. Good luck with your musical. Ken Quapis, the book is, but what I really want to do is direct. Get it now. It is out now. Thank you so much, Ken. Thank you for having me. It was great talking to you.